All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to install your throwout bearing as well as the lever, the actuator lever. Um, and this is during my transmission rebuild here. This is the grease you're going to need. It's super high temp urea grease, and you can see probably the part number at the top of the screen there. But that's like 12 bucks for like almost two ounces, 1.75 ounces there. Uh, that'll last you enough to do like 10 transmissions, so don't worry. Um, but that's the stuff they recommend, so I used it. So the areas you're going to want to spread grease on with your finger are this area here on the shaft. This is where your throw out bearing slides back and forth. You want to put a little bit of grease on the splines here, but not too much, because if you goop it on there and you get your motor revved up, it'll spray onto your uh, your clutch and pressure plate, which could cause it to slip. So you don't want to you don't want to put too much on there. This is what your shift fork, or not your shift fork here, your pivot arm there is what I'll call it. This is where it pivots on this ball here. So you're going to want to grease that up good, and the inside of the throwout bearing you're going to want to grease up pretty good as well. And that's where that ball pivots on there. Put some grease in there. Well as on the edge of this guy, this is where the this uh, arm here, pivot arm, contacts the throwout bearing right here. So you're going to want to grease that up too. But um, yeah, that's it. And then I'll show you how to put it together here. Alright, so this is what the, the grease looks like. It's like a dark green. Get some on there, and then you just spread it around and do it so you get it all 360 degrees around this second place to put grease is on the pivot ball right here on your pivot arm you want to put some grease in here this is where that pivot ball rides inside so get greased up in there pretty good then you're going to want to put it on the end of these forks here as well. As well as the inside of your throwout bearing. The last part is where your slave cylinder pivots. Your slave cylinder pushes the ball out of the slave cylinder and pushes on here which tilts this to push your throwout bearing into your clutch pressure plate. So you're going to want to just stick some grease in there. And now you've got the shaft greased, a little bit of grease on here, not too much. Some grease on there, the pivot ball, the end of your forks, the inside of the throwout bearing as well is where the forks are going to contact it, right there and there. And the inside of your pivot arm in there. And that's it. And all you got to do now is take this little retaining clip right here and this side that angles downward you slip it in there compress these into the sides there and now when you go to put it in that ball is going to expand these two metal pieces here and it's going to snap into place. And once the ball gets behind that it won't pop back out. I'm going to slide that over the ball until it snaps in just like that. And now you can feel it sitting inside that pivot ball. It should look like that. Now you're going to take your throw out bearing and you want the bearing part that spins obviously facing outward just towards your clutch. So you're going to put that in vertically like this. Push it on the shaft and just slide your pivot arm behind it. Once it's installed correctly it should look like this. It should flop back and forth and all you got to do now is just put your rubber boot back in to seal things up. But make sure when you put it in you get the forks behind the throwout bearing and make sure they're both locked in good and yeah now um, pretty much after this step once you get your boot in you can go ahead and start putting it into the car it's really the only thing you have to do is grease up those components with fresh grease so everything your clutch pedal feel when you put this back together is really smooth that's what makes the difference is when you take your time and make sure all that stuff is lubricated so 
And if you want to learn how to put it back into your car, just go to my channel and watch the video of me taking everything apart. And just do everything in reverse. So you can use your engine hoist, or you, if you want, you can put it on your chest and freaking bench press this thing in if you're strong. But um, put the transmission in, lock your eight bolts around the casing, and you're going to put your axles in, and then you can work on your subframe and go basically just do reverse of what we did in the transmission removal video. So if you saw that, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more good stuff with this car. Hopefully, this is the last time the transmission will be out of the car. Thanks, guys.